Okay, Jason, tell us about Steve Cohen and Point72, because this surprised me, I have to say, because I thought after the financial crisis, the whole idea is we're going to take down the leverage sum. I mean, eight to one, that's a oh, lot of turns. Oh, David Weston, that's <laughs> adorable. So that is know. so cute that you think that people learn lessons from the financial crisis. Uh, I mean, this is, a, this is a really interesting theme in hedge funds right now. I mean, first of all, everyone is looking at Steve Cohen. I mean, this is, he will be probably the most watched sort of relaunch in the hedge fund world, right? But this leverage number, and this was gleaned from SEC filings, which again, you know, we are, back to your financial crisis uh, point, I mean, we are starting to get a little bit more transparency when sure. it comes to hedge funds. So this is an interesting look into how that works, but the numbers are pretty staggering. So, you know, in his previous life, about 3.6 to one was the typical leverage. And now, at least coming into this year, uh, looking at you know eight to one, so almost uh, more than double, I should say. Now, one thing that should be noted is that this was mostly, or really entirely, when he was investing his own money. And so, so it may be different now. That so he's it could be different now that he's bringing in outside but, capital. It could be a little less risky, but, but we'll you see. get the privilege of paying him a lot of money to leverage up your money, right? Two seventy-five I mean, and thirty. Yeah, you know, exactly. those fees yeah. make sense. But Absolutely. I think it does yeah. speak to when we talked about the hedge funds that did do well in two thousand and seventeen. A yeah. lot of them were levered, That's right? Wasn't true. Bluecrest one of the ones that That's had a, exactly a nice right. leverage position? So exactly right. if you need the returns and you want to charge the fees, you got to lever. Listen, leverage is what makes Wall Street go round in many ways.